When you wake up in the morning, what do you see? When you wake up in the morning, I'm going to ask you again, what do you see? When you wake up in the morning, every day, when you open your eyes, what do you feel? When you wake up in your bedroom or wherever you laid your head the night before, when you get up and make breakfast, when you walk out of the door and, and you decide that you're going to step foot to start your day, are you feeling what you really truly want to feel? I want you to pause for a moment and think about it. When you go to work, day in, day out, are you seeing, are you going to the place that you really want to go? Are you seeing what you want to see? Is that job where you truly, honestly want to be? Are you seeing what your soul desires? Are you seeing the life that you had dreamt of as a child? The desires you had? Are you seeing a life full of imperfect perfection? What do you see? What do you feel? When you wake up this morning, what's happening? What's really happening? Is that your reality? Is that what you really want to happen? Wake up from the dream you're in. You see, a lot of us are in a dream. We are living inside a dream. And the reason I know that is because I too was in a dream. I was in a dream for many, many years. So I know what it's like to be in a dream. I want you to wake up from your dream. Wake up from the dream you're in for a moment, just for a moment, and ask yourself, what's happening to me? Where have I ended up? If you're not seeing what you want to see when you ask yourself that question, if you're not experiencing what you want to experience, if you are not feeling what you want to feel, if you are not living the life you were born to live, then somewhere along the way, you've lost sight of your true purpose. I'm going to say that again. If you're not seeing what you want to see, if you're not experiencing what you want to be experiencing, if you're not feeling how you should feel, if you're not seeing what you should see, if you are not where you should be, then you are not living the life that you were meant to be. And that is a life of purpose. You see, your purpose is a fuel that powers you. Your purpose propels you from a little life of grayness to a life of fulfillment of colors. Your purpose takes you out of the gray and the black clouds and puts you into blue skies. Your purpose is why you were born. It's why you are now living. So the fact that you don't know where you are, where you are, what you want, how you should feel, suggests that your purpose has been lost. So you think it's gone. And I know I've been there. You decided that you woke up and it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay for you to just live this mediocre life. But the life you're living is not your own. You decided that you've given up. You decided that it's too hard. It's going to take too much work. It's going to take too much commitment. It's going to take too much discipline. It is going to take too much failure for you to actually live your purpose. You gave up because you decided it would be too expensive. You decided it was too risky. I'm here to tell you that you've been asleep. <laughs> You're not yourself. You are not yourself. The fundamental problem when, when we don't seek our purpose is this. We become a split between what the soul des desires desperately and the life we are living outside of our skin. We are fragmented in two. You must recognize though that on the inside with what's on the outside, they just don't correlate. So you are going to have to reconcile the outside with the inside. You must do this. You must take full responsibility for your own life. Nobody can do it for you. You must ask yourself the question, what do I want when I wake up every morning? What do I want to see? How do I want to feel? Where do I want to be? What do I really truly desire to be doing? 
and and I don't want you to just ask the questions. I truly want you to listen to the answers because very often we get so caught down in the business that we don't stop to listen to what our souls are telling us. So when you ask, what do you want to see? How do you want to feel? Where do you want to be? And what do you want to be doing? I want you to listen. I truly want you to listen to that all so small voice, that light that's telling you and guiding you into exactly what the answers should be. And I really can guarantee that if you ask yourself this question every day, these questions, what do I want? Where do I want to be? All those kinds of questions, those intuitive questions every morning for the next month. I want you to ask yourself, what do I want to see? How do I want to feel? Where do I want to be? What do I truly desire to be doing? And when you do it, I want you to do it a different way. Ask yourself, if your name is John, what do John want to see? What does John want to see? Where does, where does John want to be? How does John want to feel? How does John want to wake up every day? Where does John want to be? And what does John want to be doing? And if you be quiet for a moment, I guarantee you the answers will come to you, John. You will notice that there's a light inside of you that will, will literally be ignited and it will push down you. It will push you to the purpose. It, it's been, you see, you will notice that there's a light inside of you that has been pushed down for so long. And that light will deliver you. When you ask these questions, it will not only deliver you, it will stop other ships from crashing on the rocks that you have crashed on. Do you understand what I'm saying? The moment we ask ourselves what we need in that moment to change our lives and we start listening to the answers, that will inspire others to do the same. So why did your light go out? It's another question I want to ask you. Pause for a moment and ask yourself, why did your light go out? Was it rejection? Was it what people said about you? Was it your own self-talk? Was it your relationship breakup? Whatever it is, ask yourself, because there's something. In all of us, there's innate greatness, and something caused your light to go out. And I know some of you have been tired. I know you have. Some of you have wanted to live your purpose for a long time. Some of you have had a dream that was so important to you, and you, you let it die. And you woke up one day and you walked out the door and people mocked you. They questioned you. They saw your failures and said, you don't have what it takes to live your life of purpose. You don't have what it takes to reach your dreams. And you don't have what it takes to walk in your purpose. And so you got worried about money. You got worried about people's ideologies of you. You got worried about the self-doubt, the self-talk, and you got stuck in a rut. You got worried about casting your boat to sea and lusting and you got worried about casting your boat to sea and losing sight of the shore. You got worried about drowning. You see, you worried about drowning and not realizing that you could actually swim. You got worried about if you fail, not realizing that you could fly. You were tired and so you tried, you got rejected, you made mistakes and you gave up. There was no one there to tell you that your purpose would need you to be to be to be to be hard shelled, that your purpose would need you to fight for it. You had no one there to tell you that you need to be a warrior for your purpose. There was no one to tell you that sometimes you'd be crawling on your hands and knees with arrows piercing your back. There was no one to say, I know your hands are tied. I know your body's blooded and bruised, but keep going, keep pushing, keep crawling because eventually your parachute will open and you will swim and you will sail and you will soar. There was nobody there to tell you that. There was nobody to tell you that if you keep crawling, one day you will walk. Just like the baby, one day that baby just woke up after crawling for several months and that baby started walking. And when you walk, you will start to run. You see, when you open your parachute wings and you, you literally jump off that cliff, there was nobody there to tell you that you're going to hit some bumps, but eventually your wings are going to open wide like the eagle and you will soar. There was nobody to tell you there. 
The pain of being divorced from yourself is far greater than the pain of moving forward. There was nobody there to tell you that your life is not half lived because you have not stepped into purpose. I'm here to tell you that your life is not yours. If you're not honoring, I'm here to tell you that your life is not yours. If you are not honoring your purpose, if you're not living in divine assignment, if you're not walking in truly the purpose that you are intended for, if you're not stop stepping, if you are not stepping into the life you're meant to live, your life is not yours. Do you hear me? Do you understand me? And some of you are saying, what is she talking about? So I'm saying to you, if you're not living the true life of purpose, if you wake up every day and you're not happy about where you are, what you're doing, who you are, how you see, how you feel, your life is not yours. So you're going to ask me, how am I going to be a warrior for my purpose, Ava? How do I do it? You're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to grind. You're going to have to push hard. You're going to have to work harder than you've ever worked before to take back the life that's yours. It is going to require discipline, commitment, resilience, tenacity, drive, hope, courage. It is going to have to require you putting on blindfold and walking into the dark. I'm here to tell you that it is possible that your purpose can deliver you. That's exactly what happened to me. You see, I grew up poor in Jamaica. I slept in a one room with, 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 with a sheet that my mother used to separate it into two bedrooms. I grew up selling mangoes on the train instead of going to school as much. I grew up feeding my family essentially. I grew up going to school very, very infrequently. Today they call me Dr. Ava Brown. You see, my purpose back then was just to overcome and get a better life that I was born into. You see, I refuse to accept the life I was given and you can do the same. I was thrown out of one house to the next. I was homeless at one point, but I kept going. I begged for places to live. I, I literally, literally slept on people's sofa. I, I was homeless. I, I was tossed around, pushed around, fondled. I was raped. I was held up at gunpoint. I have every reason to have literally jumped off that cliff and die. But my purpose kept me going. The fact that I had a desire to change my story. I didn't know how I wanted to change my story, but I knew that I wanted to change my story. So what did I do? I went to the Ministry of Education and I waited at his office. I sat down, I waited. I was hungry, I was tired, I was broken, but I kept going. I sat at that office for over eight hours and I refused to move. You see, sometimes... The desire that flames inside of you for your purpose requires you to sit still and endure. And that's exactly what I did outside Birchell's office. I sat there and I waited and I waited. And eventually my persistence wore him down. Sometimes your persistence will push you to your purpose. And I ask him to help me. I ask him to give me a chance. And that is how I got to university. You see, sometimes if the doors do not open, you are going to have to knock them down. You will have to knock down some doors. You'll have to kick down some doors for your purpose. So I had a purpose. I was going to overcome my past. I was going to overcome my past. I was going to change my children's future. If not me, then who? Because I stood outside that ministry's office and I refused to give up, I was let in. You see, when you knock a door down for too long, at some point, the door becomes weak and you will have to be let into that door. So listen to me carefully. I went to teacher's college and I didn't have family support, so I studied. I didn't have rich parents, so I studied. Education was my passport out of, out of poverty. Education was my passport out of poverty. 
when I left college, I, I applied for 120 jobs. I didn't get one job, but I kept going. I kept persisting. I kept going because I knew that if I worked for three years, somebody had to give me a chance. Somebody had to open the door to me. So I kept knocking and I kept pushing and I kept pushing my way through. And that's what you have to do sometimes. You have to push your way through. Something has to push you. I wanted to break the poverty cycle for my children. And that is what kept pushing me. And I want to ask you, when you wake up every day, what is pushing you? What is pushing you? What is pushing you? So, so get this. I didn't give up. My purpose was so overwhelming for me. I kept overcoming and I kept overcoming one hurdle after another and the hurdles kept coming. And I felt like I was standing in a ring and people were just firing pellets at me, but I kept fighting, pushing. And sometimes I got hit down and sometimes I had to get up and sometimes I had to crawl my way. And sometimes I felt like I was going to sink, but eventually I kept afloat. And today I swim, I soar, I die. You see, to keep focus, to keep going after your purpose, you're going to have to change your mindset. You've got to seek the grind because the grind will not come seeking you. And the only way to break free and start living a life of purpose is for you to break free. Your mindset has to be shifted. So ask yourself the question again. The same questions that I asked you at the beginning. When you wake up in the morning, what do you want to see? When you wake up in the morning, where do you want to be? When you wake up in the mornings, how do you want to feel? And do something for me. Change something for me. Be responsible for something. Become the warrior. And, and, and every day remember that it's either you're going to be hunted or you're going to be the hunter. The only way to get your purpose and live in your purpose is to hunt down your life that you are meant to live. And once you do that, my friend, I guarantee you, I, 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 gar I put my stamp on it. That's once you go seeking your purpose, your parachute will open so wide that you will soar like the eagle you are destined to be, that nothing about your life will be ordinary anymore, that you'd have stepped out of ordinary into the seats of extraordinary, that your greatness is awaiting you, but you're going to have to push past some challenges and only the brave gets there. Only the people who understand the concept that they have to pull down their purpose, that they're going to have to take and claim their purpose, get to the end. And I will see you at the top because you will get there if you ask yourself the questions, what am I here for? And the answer says, I'm here for my purpose. And do you know what that purpose is? Go and get it. Go and get it today. If not when, if not now, then when? I see you guys later. Go and claim your greatness. Do you know what?